Hey guys, Eddie Random Guy 13 here today. I'm going to be showing you how to um, uh, mod your PSP 660 firmware, official firmware, to uh, 660 uh, Pro Mod B10. Alright, what you're going to do is you're going to download the files in the, script, in the description, which will be these files right here. And you're going to copy, copy the files right in this onto your PSP so you're gonna copy them right into here which I already have done and then you're gonna wanna go to your PSP once you're at your PSP you're gonna wanna go exit I'm gonna show you that I'm on the firmware trying to show you 660 yeah 660 and then you're gonna go and you're gonna go all the way over to game number stick and you're gonna want to go to pro update run it Alright, you're going to press X to launch custom firmware. It's going to do all this good stuff. Press X again. And we should be... On... Alright, so we should be on custom firmware now. Yeah, we are. You can see right there. We are on ProMod. Oh, it covers my MAC address for me. Beautiful. And my computer doesn't seem to shut up. And uh, I don't know my date on this, so I'm taking a kind of risk here. I'm going to run CILP Flasher, which I've used before, and it worked on other firmwares. So I'm going to take a risk because mine is a Japanese model and I can't find the date, but. If I don't even know why my computer's beeping like that, but I'm gonna run CLIP flasher and hope for the best. This should make it permanent, and that's what I want. Okay, press X to install. Flashing ILP, starting in five seconds. Right, so we press select. Oh, it's got the VHS menu or whatever you call that. VSH, sorry. I'm gonna go to system settings. And yep, we're on Pro B. And just to show you, I'm going to completely shut off. Oh, I didn't fucking mean to do that. And I completely shut it off. back on. Or I guess it didn't shut off all the way. There, shut off. Turn it back on. It's going to be a little bitch. But the VHS menu is there, you can see that. And it still is on Pro B.